Hey folks, this is RTFM. Today I'm doing how to teach. It's a show about teaching board games. But first, did you ever see X-Men 2? It's the 2003 movie I'm talking about, the one way before uh, MCU was even a thing. And the reason I'm bringing it up, besides the fact that it's got my favorite X-Men in it, and I'll always want to talk about that, is that it did something very smart. It hooked people right away. Almost immediately in the movie, you've got Nightcrawler bamfing through the White House, taking out guards, and generally being a badass. It got you pumped, it showcased mutant powers in a really exciting way, and if you know the X-Men, you know that Nightcrawler is a good guy. He's like the goodest of guys. So it got you curious as to why this was happening. This is what I want you to do at the beginning of your rules explanation. Now, you may not have a multi-million dollar budget, but you can and should try to get your friends excited about the game before you even mention the first rule. If I started teaching Ganymede here, an excellent game by the way, by talking about the three actions you can perform on your turn, you're not going to have a frame of reference for why you should care about those actions. Instead, the way I start teaching this game is like this. You know what's lame? The Earth. The solar system. It's played out. No one cares anymore. Let's get out of here. Mars was cool for a little bit, but uh, it's boring now. I'm, I'm over it. You know what's cool? Ganymede. You get to Ganymede, you can go anywhere. So how are we going to do it? Easy. There's three ways. First off, we can grab a colony tile. And see, I've segued right into it. So let's boil this down. The first thing to do is tell people what's going on, what you are essentially doing during the game, and why. If, even if people already know the basic premise, this is still a good idea because it puts them in a receptive mental state before you hit them with a bunch of facts. And if they don't know what's going on, you can use this to highlight what's going to be important to them during the game. Another thing to do early on is tell them how they're going to win. Now you can do this right at the top. I like to give people a taste of the rules first, uh, but it really depends on the game. Like for Ganymede here, once I talk about colony ships, which I do pretty early, I say that once four ships are launched, that's going to trigger the end game and whoever has the most points wins, but I'll talk about points later because again, you don't want to bog things down with minutia right away. And one last thing, it helps a ton if you can sell to your players why they're going to have fun during the game. I think a lot of people skip this because they figure their friends are going to be on board no matter what, and maybe they are, but you shouldn't be aiming for your friends to just endure the rules explanation. They should come out of the teach ready and excited to play. Like when I'm teaching Ganymede, I emphasize the combos. How if you play a card that matches another card you've already played, you get to do the thing twice or maybe more. If you can pull it off, you can trigger a huge string of events. Now. Your players are listening to the rules, but they're hopefully also thinking about how they're going to play. So that's how you start things off. Give them a quick, interesting summary, tell them what they're working towards, and let them know why they're going to love it. You do these things right, and people are going to be a lot more receptive towards learning a bunch of dry rules. And there's ways to make that interesting as well, but I'm going to save that for next time. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, maybe passive-aggressively share it with that one dude in your game group. You know who I'm talking about. And if you really like these how to teach videos and you want me to make more of them, well, maybe consider joining the Patreon and becoming a rules lawyer. That'd be fun. Bye.